And, and once in a while, some of these people you don't think can win, by God, they win. And a lot of them won in 2006. So, you can call it a master class in political science. Former Vermont governor, presidential candidate, and Democratic National Committee chair Howard Dean was on the Brandeis campus recently to talk politics with students and, he hoped, inspire them as well. The message, I think, is that change comes from the bottom up, not the top down, and that this generation, by voting in huge numbers and working as hard as they did, have just elected their first president in the same way that uh, John F. Kennedy was my first president. Dean was invited to campus by the Brandeis Democrats. The group's vice president says it was a timely invitation given current events in Washington. Luckily for us, the health care bill passed just before this event, and Howard Dean has done a lot on health care reform. Um, even after he's left the party, he's been speaking up about it. He's been in the news on cable TV talking about it, his opinions on the policy and that sort of thing. He's agreed with a lot of what the administration's proposal did and criticized some of it. We thought it would get a good dialogue about what's happening right now. During his visit, Governor Dean first met with members of the Brandeis Democrats and other student groups before moving on to the main event, a campus forum where he talked about the key political issues of the day, like the newly passed health care legislation, as well as his own political past. For many of the students who came to see Dean, his presidential run in 2004 was the first time many of them were invested in an election, even if they couldn't vote in it yet. Dean's campaign, which was fueled through an online, grassroots effort, energized young voters like few politicians before, and he's still clearly a draw with them today. He has a huge range of support across progressives all across the country, but I think young people in particular are excited by him, particularly because I think he has a reputation for candor and honesty that can be somewhat rare in politics today. Governor Dean was in Waltham just one day after another politician known for her candor, former Alaska governor and vice presidential nominee Sarah Palin, was in Boston to energize members of the Tea Party movement. While Dean says he doesn't agree with the group's politics, he thinks their involvement in the political conversation is a good thing. I think it's a grassroots movement uh, of people involved in trying to uh, take power into their own hands. I, I encourage that. I think that's self-empowerment is what grassroots movements are not are about. And I don't agree with a lot of their what they have to say. They're much more conservative even than the average Republicans. But I do think it's a good thing when people, in a responsible way, um, self-empower themselves in a political system. Governor Dean says such self-empowerment sentiments are similar to what inspired Democratic voters during the last midterm elections when he was DNC chair. The Democrats felt really um, uh, powerless in 2006 and 2004. Uh, a lot of our office holders seemed to take the view that the best way to win an election was to be as much as be as much like the Republican Party as you could. What I stood up for was democratic principles, and I think that was very, very kind of emotionally uh, uplifting for an awful lot of people who kind of started to give up on the system. While he may no longer be heading the DNC or hitting the campaign trail, Governor Dean still feels he has a role to play in politics. My role now is an outside role. I'm on TV a fair amount. I organize. I uh, campaign for candidates that I like, that I admire, uh, raise money, uh, could do consulting for Democracy for America, which is a grassroots uh, organization that does a lot of training. I actually do a lot of work uh, in foreign countries through um, the National Democratic Institute uh, in terms of teaching people how to use some of the tools that we developed in 2004 to try to democratize uh, countries which could use some help in that department. So there's always lots to be done whether you're inside or, or outside. Right now I'm outside. He may be a self-proclaimed political outsider, but for one night he gave Brandeis students an inside look at national politics. Max Perlstein, Brandeis Now.